I have got a super fun video for you guys today. One of my buddies just bought a brand new 2022 Porsche 911 and he's gonna give me the keys for the day. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the car. I'm gonna talk about the finances. What does it cost to own? How much would you have to make to afford a car like this? And ultimately the craziest of all, how the owner believes he can own this car for free. Time to think like an investor. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh. I am a sixth year certified financial planner and I run my own investment management business. The funny thing about all this, as materialistic and hilarious as it might seem, everything I know about finance and investing and starting a business and all this freedom stuff I talk about, ultimately came from my childhood obsession with exotic cars. You know, the first time I ever saw a really cool car in person as a kid, I was like, I don't care what it goes on in life, I just kinda wanna have one of those and that will be the ticket. That will be when I know that I have made it. And so it was super weird, super quirky, but I was like nine, 10, 11 years old when I first got a calculator out and started looking at the prices of things. What does it cost to buy a car? What does it cost to buy a house? And I would calculate these things out and I would think about how much money would I need to make to afford X car or X house and I would be like this weird 9, 10 year old on Auto Trader and on the MLS listings looking for real estate, looking for cars, budgeting them out and seeing how the numbers would work. And going further down that rabbit hole, I eventually on the internet came across this idea of investing, how you could start with a relatively small amount of money and turn it into a massive amount of money and how that pool of capital could produce an income that you can buy fun things with instead of always having to work hours and trade your time in order to buy the things that you want. All of these things kind of first occurred to me when I was 12 or 13 years old. And so I followed that rabbit hole deep enough to the point where it kind of became my career. And that's the type of business I run today. It's all about investment management and financial planning and solving these sorts of problems. And so if you're following this channel for that reason, for the finance, well, one of the interesting things I've found in the course of running my business is that it's very hard to get someone into the correct financial and investment habits if they don't really want something they don't have. If there isn't some future that excites them more than where they are now or something or some experience they really deeply want, it's really difficult to motivate someone to make the sacrifices required in the present to build a future that's necessary to get what it is they want. But anyways, enough about the budgeting financial planning stuff. You guys are here to see this brand new Porsche 911 and it is beautiful. So here I am just kind of waiting in this nondescript parking lot, um, waiting for him to show up so I can take the keys and uh, take the car. Man, I am excited, but I'm also kind of nervous. Like you never know, you don't want to break a car like this. And I'm actually getting cold feet a little bit. I hear him coming. Oh my goodness, this thing is nasty. Let me zoom for you guys. <laughs> this is gonna be nuts. Oh, that's funny. Eh? That was normal? Yeah. And then it goes. Nice. Yeah. We're gonna leave it there. Console. So apparently, um, I had a buddy who, I mean, Yeah. He said like one of his favorite driving experiences was Porsche, like of all the- Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Guys, you ready? <laughs> Hot and Hot is probably not the street to do that on. Wee wee. I want one now. This is brutal. All right, so I promised you guys we'd walk through some of the numbers. If you're an aspiring young person like I was, trying to price things out and wrap your head around, hey, maybe how could I afford one of those things that I want one day? And maybe this Porsche is the car for you. Well, let's talk about this a little bit. The owner of this car has been kind enough to show me the figures on what exactly this car costs. And so let's walk through the major ones. First, we have the monthly lease payment. So this is a lease. 
zero down payment for 48 months. The lease payment is about $2,600 a month. So that's definitely a lot more than your typical Honda Civic or your Toyota Corolla, but it adds a lot more fun too. Now, in terms of the fuel in this car, I'm gonna have to do some calculations. Let's assume that you're only driving this car half the time, right? You can't drive this car everywhere and all the time. It's just straight up impractical. I mean, the owner of this car does. But let's talk about this for a second. Let's say, on average for me, I drive about 15,000 kilometers a year. And so let's cut that down the middle and say that I'm gonna drive this car for 7,500 kilometers per year, okay? And now, so this car combined highway and city does 14 liters per 100 kilometers. So we divide 7,500 by 100, and that gets us 1,050 liters of fuel a year that we'd be using. Now, you're gonna have to use premium in this car, and that's gonna be about 225 to $2.30 per liter. In total, this is going to cost you about $2,400 a year or $200 a month just in fuel for your secondary car. So we're already sitting around that $2,800 mark. Now, in addition to this, you're going to have to insure the car. You're going to have to make sure that if this thing crashes and blows up that you're not in the hole. So the insurance for this vehicle is $3,000 per year or $250 a month. And the biggest dagger of the payment is you're gonna need a second car. And so that second car, either me, who knows, maybe you're lucky enough to already have a paid off vehicle that's somewhat nice and you don't have to make payments on that. But let's say your other car is gonna cost you at least 500 bucks a month, all things included. So all that being said, this car all in is gonna cost you about $3,550 a month to own because you're gonna need a second car. And so that's pretty wild because we're talking about the payment on a three quarter of a million dollar home here, and it's just for a car, it's for a lease payment. So that's pretty nuts, but let's think about how that factors into like maybe consumer spending guidelines. If we look at the average person in Canada or the USA, they spend between 15 to 20% of their monthly income on transportation, okay? So if we take this 3,550 number and divide it by 15 to 20%, what that means is in order to afford this car within the normal rule of thumb standards of monthly spending, you would have to earn between 215 dollars and $280,000 per year to probably be somewhat comfortable making this work. But here's the thing, that's not necessarily the monthly expense, that's the monthly impact on your cash flow. So it's certainly, you know, filter number one. If you can't make that cash flow work, there's no way you should be doing this. But it's not exactly what the car costs you. It's the car's impact on your monthly cash flow. You see, if you're making a car payment every month, you're actually paying down the loan and you are gaining equity. So your real cost isn't the full payment, it's really just the interest. Now with a lease, it works out a little bit different, but here's the thing, with all the stimulus checks going around and all the inflation and also this chip issue and the use and new car supply shortage, there are car dealerships all across the country with empty lots who just can't get enough inventory. They're having more buyers than there are cars to sell. And so what happens when demand is extremely high and supply is low, we know this, the price of things goes up. And as you might have noticed with your own car, it's very possible that your used car you're driving is worth more than it was two years ago. In some crazy cases, it might be worth more than what you bought it for. And so now this is obviously an economic risk, right? If the market conditions change, it won't work out this way, but the owner of this car believes that at some point during this lease, at some point during this term, the value of the car will rise beyond what he bought it for and any penalties he might have to pay to break a lease. So he finds that the real true expense of owning this car is just gonna be the running costs. It's gonna be the fuel and the insurance. Maintenance is included in the lease. So ultimately, if the car actually rises in value, it might be a situation where he gets to drive a brand new Porsche 911 for a year or two years completely for free minus the running cost. Now this might seem absolutely crazy, like I don't know what I'm talking about, and to some degree, yes, it is crazy, but you guys might have seen in the past, I did a video with a brand new Lamborghini Huracan, talking about the numbers on that one, which was really fun to do. Now the owner of that car, also a friend, ended up selling that car for more than he bought it for, and after all expenses, pretty much breaking even to drive a Lamborghini for a year. So this stuff isn't just made up, it's not some projection. This has been happening, where owners of these highly sought after luxury cars can buy them, use them for a year, and not have them depreciate, and then sell them for a break even value. It's absolutely crazy. But all in all, owning this car, whether it makes you money or loses you money, is still a blast. I personally would never go into a vehicle transaction trying to make money, it just seems like a losing bet 
a vehicle that doesn't produce cash flow it doesn't produce any recurring value it actually just depreciates so for me i wouldn't deem a personal vehicle an investment but i'd like to hear what you guys think leave a comment below is this a ridiculous idea trying to buy a car in an inflated market and you know buying high and selling higher or is this going to work out what do you think i'd love to hear anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button below hit subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos just like this one every single week until next time Thank <laughs> you.